Okay, well, here's a brilliant example of how to act with a dog once you've just been reintroduced to them. After any separation of the wolf pack, no matter how long or how short, the pecking order needs to be re-established. And what a dog will do is a dog will ask you questions. Like, can I get your attention on my terms? Some dogs will jump at you, as we've just seen there from Cider, who's my glamorous assistant for this particular film. Some dogs will jump at you, some dogs will lean on you, here we go again. Bring you toys. I mean, I went to see one dog that had eight toys. I know I had eight toys, didn't lined all eight in front of me. Which one of these is going to work? And as you can see right now, Cider's just trying to get my attention with a little bit of mouthing as well. Now, it's not a dog bite, but mouthing, sometimes you, you can't really ignore that, just, you know, pretend it's not going to happen. And if you have a dog that tries to get your attention by mouthing, one thing you can do, Side is a good case there because she's got a collar, is to just take her by the collar without saying a word and put her in another room to calm down again. What you're doing is giving her a choice. You know, you respect my personal space or you could lose the pack. Because what happens in nature is every time there's been a separation they get back together again, the pecking order is re-established and the leader, the alpha, reminds everybody that they're the alpha by not making any eye contact with the rest of the pack. What they're saying there is, I have a personal space, the yours respect, respect, go away. And the thing that you're looking for with the dog is you're waiting for the moment when they leave you alone. And what's happening here is that that behaves a little bit better, she's thinking about it, but obviously this is something that works for her sometimes. So I've just got to show her, not now sweetheart, you've got to wait until I'm ready. And you see she left me alone a lot quicker then. So what we'd be looking for in a dog like Cider, for example, was for her to calm down rather than just leave me alone. Because with some dogs, my dogs for example, I'll just wait till they leave me alone because they've really got nothing to prove. You know, they understand where they fit in, but they still ask me a question, even if it's a, you know, a calm one. You're looking for the frequency and the intensity of your dog to start to diminish. So it goes, well, I kind of know what you're trying to tell me here, but I, I still have to ask. And the reason they have to ask is because, as far as they're concerned, anything can happen to you while you're out there in the big wide world. Think about in the wild, you know, they can encounter an, uh, another pack of wolves or, you know, a bear or something. Anything can happen which would mean that they're not necessarily 100% anymore. There could be members of the pack missing because they've been killed. So they need to find out. So what happens with a dog when it asks you a question is give it the right answer. No matter what it does to get your attention, you're going to do what we call the golden five minutes. That's basically five minutes of silence and the old song goes, silence is golden. You completely ignore them until they've left you alone. Now, with a dog that's quite hyperactive like that, for it said first, you wait for it to settle down and maybe even go to sleep because you know what, there's nothing wrong and giving that dog a little bit of peace. Sometimes, for some dogs, it's the first time in their lives they've had some peace. Once you're going to come back in again, what I'm looking for is for it to, is to stop quicker and for her to be a little bit, you know, she knows what I'm doing, but she has to ask the question. But what I'm going to be is consistent. This is much quicker that time. You can see her energy level starting to go down. We'll take a bit of time inside because we've only just met. So she's going to ask me, who are you? Where do you fit in in my pack? It's an understandable question. Now, if you're, if you're the owner of a dog like that and you've got visitors who come in who really are quite squeamish with dogs, of course you can always take control of the situation by having the dog out of the room for, at first and then bringing the dog in on a lead. If the dog starts to act like that, well, you've got to hold it on the lead. Nothing's going to happen. And if you wish, you can always put the dog away to think about it without any stress or drama at all. Well, there's loads more people coming in now, so uh, I'm going to leave it there. And um, well, if you see what's happened with Cider, I'll show you another film later on with my dogs and you see the difference. But remember, all dogs will ask you a question, where do you fit in? So give them the right answer, pay no attention to them until they leave you alone. And it's a golden piece of advice for your dogs. And they're going to relax because they see you as the decision maker, you the one that can trust.